In this lesson, we do some work on bridging the decades. Let's think of a number line 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, etc. When we talk about decades, normally say decade is 10 years, but decades can refer to other things that are tens. Now, 37 plus something is equal to 40. So let's think, there's 37. How much more to get up to 40? I think you might have said add 3. Of course you did. So 37 plus 3 gets up to 40. 52 plus something will get it up to 60. So there's 52. How much more to get to 60? We'd need to add 8. Let's write 8 down. The next one, 16 plus something. All right, to bridge the decade, we need to go up to the next 10, which would be the 20 mark. So 16 plus 4 equals 20. 74 plus something. To get to the next decade, we'd be moving to 80. And 74 plus 6 equals 80. Examples. 65 plus 8. Now, to use this bridging the decade technique, we think of 8. We had 65. We need another 5, don't we? So we're going to break the 8 as 5 and 3. So let's cross out the 8. So now we've got 65 plus 5. That's the 70. That's the decade we wanted. Plus 3 equals 73. The next one, 26 plus 6. Well, if we think of 26, we need another 4 to bridge the decade. So let's break the 6 up as 4 plus 2. Okay, 4 and 2, of course, is 6. So 26 plus 4, that bridged the decade. That got to 30. And 30 plus 2 equals 32. The next one, 48 plus 5. Well, 48, we need 2 more to get to 50. So that 5, we're going to break it up and think of it as 2 plus 3. So we've got 48 plus 2, that's our 50, plus another 3 is 53. Well, the next one, 32 plus 9. Well, 32, to get it up to the decade, to get up to 40, we'd need to add 8. So the 9, we're going to break up as 8 and 1. So let's see what we've got. 32 plus 8, well, that's 40, and 40 and 1 equals 41. 84 plus 8. 84 to start with, we need to bridge the decade, we'd need to get to 90, we'd do by adding 6. So the 8, let's break it up, it is 6 and 2. So then we have 84 plus 6, that's 90, plus 2 equals 92. So that's the method known as bridging the decade. In this lesson, we take a look at a method called splitting. We think of the number 32, we could split that up as 30 plus 2. 24 could be split up as 20 plus 4. And 61 could be split. In this lesson, we take a look at groups of 3. Example 1, we're asked to complete 1 group of 3 equals so many. Now we're going to use 3 bears as our groups of 3. Now in this case, 